Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today, guys, we're working on the BMW 745AY that we have, guys. And that thing started falling apart, <laughs> you know, being a 13 year old car, uh, which is a really complicated vehicle with about 50 control modules inside of it. Uh, still pretty nice, good running thing, but uh, electrical problems are something that is uh, similar for those. So, uh, today guys we will show you how to fix uh, one thing, okay stay with us, how to fix uh, bypass passenger side airbag in the seat, okay, uh, I'm talking about uh, the pad in the seat, that register if you have a person sitting there and if it's heavy enough to activate the front airbag, on, on some vehicles that, uh, that pad will go bad, so what happens, you get airbag light and uh, you will never ever have the front airbag probably in a collision and uh, one thing, some countries it's legal to do that, some it's not, so we're just showing how we do it on ours, okay? And if we sell the vehicle, we're definitely replacing the seat pad, but we're gonna drive that thing until the tires fall off of it, pretty much. So, uh, what we're going to do, guys, uh, we'll show you how to install a bypass. It works on any vehicle, but you need to find the specific one for your vehicle, and if you have a person that's uh, not tall enough and not heavy enough, uh, it's not a good thing. In the passenger side because it will uh, the airbag might hurt them if it goes off in a crash so uh, we will definitely recommend just using a new new seat pad but we'll show you how to install a bypass we have that uh, code here that the, okay the control unit fold you can see 93 db okay right here let me see okay so we just scan the system, that's the seat pad in the passenger side. So that's the little bypass we're talking about guys. Instead of replacing the whole seat pad, we're going to just do this one. Because we're adults driving and riding in this car, we don't have any kids on the front seats. So uh, we'll uh, just replace this one until we get the, uh, uh, until we get a, a seat pad and get that thing delivered and we, we fix it once we get it. But we'll show you how the bypass will temporarily fix our problem for now stay with us with okay, the website that was selling those they had about 15,000 sold so that's a common problem with the BMW and uh, we'll show you how we are going to uh, replace uh, uh, actually install the bypass and not replace the seat mat stay with us so this is the code right here 93 DB you can see SIM, that's the safety module, control unit fold, the control unit is the one actually in the passenger seat, so let's go ahead and fix it now. Okay guys, so passenger seat, okay, right here, you can actually uh, access the wire, the wire for the mat, okay, let me turn the light on, usually it's right here, you can see that's the one we're talking about, so stay with us and see how we're going to install that thing now. Alright okay guys, so if you screw the seat all the way up, you can usually reach, find, uh, okay, find a wire for the mat right here, from the back of the front side, okay, we're going to disconnect it like that, and we're going to install the little bypass, it's going to, it needs to go the other way actually, because that's the wire from the, from the seat, okay, so it needs to go there, and just push it in until it clicks super simple we're going to put the wire there as well okay let's go ahead clear the code and see what we have now all right guys you can see here the restraint system fault is there so we're going to turn the ignition on and we're going to reset the codes okay let's reset the codes now and see see what we have turn the light off here okay we're going to go escape and now uh, erase codes right here here's some glare guys sorry about that okay uh, the data will be deleted yes that's perfect okay okay so now okay let's go ahead read the codes again no fault codes detected <clears throat> okay let's go ahead and start the car now okay we started the car and as you can see, our back light is not on at all. We have a traction light, we have a video how to fix your traction. Okay, let's go ahead and install the seat belt now to put it on and see, see if it works. Okay, and even without a person. Okay, let me install mine now and see if they're gonna go away. 
Okay, light went away. So there is there is absolutely no problem now. You can see uh, the airbag light went away, the seat belt light went away. So uh, yeah, that that fixed our problem. But again, if you don't let kids ride in the front seat, uh, some countries that's legal, some it's not. So uh, just do your research before you get in trouble. Uh, that's uh, just our own vehicle, and it's for demonstrating purposes only, and not to sh uh, not to. Uh, make you do it it just to show you that it could be done so thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next time